Rizal's last hours on December 26, 1896. The military court tried Jose Rizal and later found him guilty of rebellion, sedition, and conspiracy. The Spanish authorities believed that Rizal's writings fatally and necessarily incited the rebellion, which, by 1896, had already become a revolution on December 29th at a.m. capped. Rafael Dominguez read before Rizal his death sentence. His execution was scheduled the following day, at around a.m. of December 29th. Rizal was transferred to his death cell in Fort Santiago. There he received numerous visitors, including his counsel, some Spanish officials, and several priests. His former professors, with whom he supposedly discussed reason and religion. The Archbishop of Manila, Rev. Bernardino Nozaleda, recalled during the day. Although Rizal did not reject the Jesuits, he persisted in his errors contrary to the Catholic faith, however. At the last hour, Rizal abjured, in writing, his religious errors. In other words, Rizal, a Mason, was said to have recanted his statements against the Church and to have returned to the Catholic faith. The controversy over Rizal's retraction has not been settled. The original document of Rizal's retraction was found in the Archdiocesan archives in 1935, 39 years after having disappeared the day Rizal was shot. There was no record of anybody seeing this original document in 1896, except the publisher's Ofla, Vaz Espaula which published its contents on the day of Rizal's execution we have seen, and read his Rizal's own handwritten retraction, which he sent to our dear and venerable Archbishop. Most experts think that the handwriting on the document is authentic, however. Scholars are baffled as to why Rizal, who courageously faced persecution for most of his life, and who was finally sentenced to death for his beliefs, would suddenly balk at the last futile moment. For more discussion on Rizal's retraction, see Garcia. 1960 for Guerrero, 1998, and Val, 1985. In his last hours, Rizal read the Bible and Thomas Kempis' Imitation of Christ, which he later dedicated to Josephine Bracken. He also wrote the poem, Me Ultimo Eighty Eyes, which he concealed in an alcohol burner. When his family came to see him, he asked pardon from his mother and talked to his sisters as they entered his cell one by one. He also wrote letters in his last letter addressed to Paciano Rizal. He asked his brother to ask their father for forgiveness for all the pain he had caused him. To his friend Ferdinand Blumentritt, he wrote when you receive this letter, I shall be dead by then, tomorrow at seven. I shall be shot, but I am innocent of the crime of rebellion. I am going to die with a tranquil conscience.